What's good everyone? Welcome back to another Marvel's Avengers gear guide video. In this gear guide video, I'll be showcasing to you guys the legendary module gear set. With the legendary module gear set, you guys can only obtain this from the daily Red Room event objective. So with the Red Room event, there is a daily objective that you guys can complete to get a gear piece from the module gear set. In this mission objective right now, you can see the mission chain rewards show harm gear. Harm gear is basically that module gear I'm talking about. So again, with the module gear set, it's only obtainable through the daily missions red room event objective. And I'm telling you guys right now, there are a couple heroes that can benefit really well from the gear pieces from the module gear set. Even though it is a legendary gear set and not exotic, there are a couple gear pieces in that gear set that will help your heroes a lot. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to be showcasing to you guys the key gear pieces that you guys should farm for or obtain from the module gear set for certain heroes. And I know a lot of people might be upset right now because I am putting this video out late. And if you are watching this video, the Red Room event just ended. So I do apologize for that. The reason I'm putting this out now for you guys is I had to make sure I was able to farm the best gear for certain heroes that you can get from the module gear set. So that's the reason I had to kind of wait to put this video out because I honestly had to use every single daily objective to see which gear pieces I can get from the module set for certain heroes and to also see which ones were worth it. And also, I know a lot of players have been reporting an issue about the Red Room Harm Rooms not being available on the War Table. The biggest thing I will tell you guys is go to the Marvel's Avengers Discord, report that issue. Hopefully, they can fix it for you. And hopefully, then you can watch this video to follow, you know, this guide on getting the module gear set. So let's go ahead and get it started. We're going to focus on a couple heroes and what module legendary gear pieces you should obtain when the Red Room event does come back. So let's do it. Starting off with Iron Man. So there are two gear pieces that I highly recommend that you guys try and get from that daily Red Room objective. The first one is probably his melee piece. So the melee piece can actually roll with Valor Proficiency and Resilience or you can try and get it with just Valor and Proficiency. There are a couple perks on here that can change, but the most important thing about this is I was able to get the Bunker Buster missiles, 18% increased damage of all rocket attacks, perfect for a rocket build. Then you have signature attacks that deal shock. And then we have Armory Breaker, 13.8% increased damage from all weapons. So this is a real good melee piece to try and obtain from the daily objective. So make sure you try and aim for that if you're an Iron Man player. And then the next one, we'll go over here. It's the defensive side, which can also roll with intensity, valor, and proficiency, or valor and proficiency. The reason I like this piece right here is it can also roll with different types of perks where you can taunt enemies and range attacks can taunt enemies and then you can do more damage on range enemies. There's perks like that when it comes to this gear piece. But the gear piece I have comes with Rampant Safeguard, negative 20% damage reduction while overcharged. And then we also have the first perk, Reactive Empowerment, 26.3% chance taking damage, grants an intrinsic buff that regenerates your intrinsic energy. Perfect perk for Iron Man. And then we have Supercharge Extension, increase the duration of Supercharge by 8.5 seconds. So make sure, again, you're going for this type of defensive slot, if you're an Iron Man player and this type of melee slot if you're an Iron Man player. So those are two gear pieces you should be aiming for when you're running the daily room or daily red room objective. Now let's go on to the next one. Next up is Miss Marvel aka Kamala Khan. So there is one gear piece that I highly recommend that you guys should try and obtain and that is the defensive slot. So this defensive slot comes with Embiggen Assistance, 3.2 increase heroic charge rate from Embiggen. So when you're in that ultimate heroic ability, you have a 3.2 increase heroic charge rate. Then we have Polymorph Assistance, increase heroic energy charge rate while Polymorph. So that's when you're holding down that right trigger and you're attacking enemies, you're in the Polymorph form. 
And then it also comes with aggressive empowerment. We're not gonna really pay attention to that perk. The key perks are the first and second one. And this gear piece comes with valor proficiency and resilience. Sometimes it can roll with just valor only. So I highly recommend you try and get this with valor and proficiency at least. Resilience is whatever, because if you have double stats, you will be able to have your stats increase a little bit more than having three stats. So just keep that in mind. And Miss Marvel can heal herself. So defense is not like a crazy issue with her. So with this gear piece, this gear piece is great if you want to stay in like a embiggen state because this will be able to this gear piece will help you be able to use your heroics as often especially your ultimate heroic ability so great gear piece from here so make sure you do farm for this if you're a miss marvel player and get it from that daily red room takeover event mission now we got kate bishop so there is one gear piece from the module gear set that i highly recommend that you should obtain that is the charm module this can roll with proficiency and valor, intensity and proficiency, you know, so many different types of stats with so many different combinations. What I highly recommend you guys try and aim for stat wise is try and get this with proficiency and valor. And what I mean, try and get this for all my safe scummers out there. You guys should be able to, you know, try and farm for this with proficiency and valor. Those are probably the two stats that I will highly target when I'm farming for this piece. And the great thing about this gear piece is it comes with a perk called Quantum Effector. Quantum teleportation intrinsic attacks deal status effect damage based on what type of melee status you have on your melee gear slot. So when I'm doing intrinsic melee attacks, which is attacks like this, I will be applying Sonic status because that's the status effect I have on my melee slot. So really good for a melee Kate Bishop build and make sure again you try and get this with Valor and Proficiency. And it also comes with two other perks, Cosmic Potentiator and Lethal Targeted Buff. With those two other perks, they can honestly change to be honest. It can come with different perks as well. But the most important thing is you want to make sure it comes with the quantum effector. Really useful, again, for a Kate Bishop melee type build. Another gear piece I did want to recommend to you guys with Kate Bishop is her melee slot. The melee slot is called Edge Module and it can roll with Valor Proficiency and also Resilience. This piece right here can also come with different types of stats as well. But keep in mind, with all these legendary gear pieces from the module gear set, make sure you try and aim for valor and proficiency because that is what's going to benefit you a lot when it comes to these gear pieces. Going back to her melee slot, so this melee slot is actually really good for her explosive arrow build. It comes with explosive blast frenzy, 10% increased firing speed of explosive arrows, and the charging speed of blast zone. And then the second perk, I have Cosmic Lightweight. That can always change with different statuses and different, you know, combo finishers. And then the third perk, Quantum Surplus, 15% increased quantum energy. So again, a really good piece if you are building towards an explosive arrow Kate Bishop build. Now let's go on to the final hero. Moving on to our last hero right now. So I have Black Widow right here. So with Black Widow, there is one gear piece from the module legendary gear set that you guys should try and aim for. And that is her melee piece. Her melee piece is called Glove Module. I have it with proficiency and intensity, but I do recommend you guys try and farm it with proficiency and valor. That'll benefit you guys a lot more than just proficiency and intensity. But there are two perks on this gear piece that are really useful. So the first one is Shadow Ops Breaker, 13.8% increased damage from Shadow Ops attacks. So if we're talking about Shadow Ops, that is your intrinsic ability right over here, as you guys can read the description. And then here's also a clip on how to activate Shadow Ops. Now going back to the melee piece, the second perk you need to pay attention to is Agent's Breaker. 20% increased damage for all ranged weapons. 
So this piece is really honestly useful for a range Black Widow build, and it might also be beneficial for a hybrid Black Widow build where you have a melee and range rating at a balanced stat. So good piece right here for Black Widow from the module legendary gear set. So make sure you try and get this melee piece if you're a Black Widow player. All right, everyone, that's the end of this gear guy video based on the legendary module gear set. I hope you guys enjoyed it. An honorable mention that I will make is for my Hulk players out there. There is a defensive slot that you guys can probably try and obtain that helps you taunt your enemies and do increased damage against enemies who are taunted. I actually didn't farm for that piece because I really felt like there are other gear pieces out there for Hulk that are much better than that defensive slot. But that's just an honorable mention for you Hulk players to check out from the daily Red Room event. So going back to all this, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys seen which heroes you should be farming the module gear set gear pieces for. There are other heroes probably in the game that might benefit from it, but honestly with all the testing I did and with all the farming I did, I didn't really come across any good module gear set pieces for heroes like Hawkeye, Thor, Jane Foster, Black Panther, um, let's see, who else am I forgetting? Man, Cap, heroes like that, I really didn't find any good module legendary gear pieces for them. But for heroes like Black Widow, Kate Bishop, Iron Man, and also Miss Marvel, I was able to find some good gear pieces. And those are the gear pieces that you should try and aim for when you are farming the daily Red Room event. So again, this is how the event looks like. So make sure you farm this to get one gear piece from the module gear set for one of your heroes. And again, it is a legendary gear piece, but it will help you with certain builds that you're trying to make for those heroes. If you guys do have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me with these Marvel Avenger videos. Until next time, I'm out. You guys take care. Peace.